Oh, it's gonna come as the visual is gonna be on the defense first. Rocket are gonna try their best to um, take down visual. The winner of this game will, of course, come out top of uh, Group C. Oh, it's gonna be Bremen and Radar. And uh, gonna see if uh, managed to. Um, uh, nice uh, start from visual here on uh, on uh, Bremen. I don't know what it's out here is uh, the, the attack from Rocket isn't doing too much in this early stage. They are going to get a couple of kills in. Uh, Squares Ross Raz pushing through the middle now, and uh, they're going to. Pressure on the uh, visual defense. Shot from that. Um, yeah. Archery side of the map. They are going to get taken out. The flag grab is going to come in. Allies are going to spawn at the flag. Brilliant flag grab by the allies. As you're going to see Raz uh, get that um, door blown open with the Kovi. And already visual are put under immense pressure within the first minute. The plant is going to go down. And the uh, upper mansion door is going to get blown open. Visual. Uh, you're gonna see Lamp on the uh, on the SMG, which is good to see because he was shooting so well in that three on three tournament. You really want to see uh, the SMG um, on him. You don't want to see that. I mean, he, sure, he's he's been pretty, playing pretty decent with the rifle as well, but big rifle grenade comes out by Coop, and that's a medic gonna be gibbed. And I'm gonna pick up Coop as they actually move in on the CP. They're gonna be able to take that forward spawn, and uh, within the first two minutes, they have managed to pick up. Huge, huge parts of the map. Cooper uh, didn't have full objective charge of that rifle shot, and the objective is going to get picked up. This is pretty much what we saw with Visual against Trick Jump. This is very, very one sided. Uh, so they're going to move on to the, the truck as well. The respawn is coming in of Axis, and Hypertech is going to try and push forward for this barrier. Cooper's going to be able to take him down, but he's going to be able to just get in that barrier build. Um, and uh, allies are going to push on towards the spawn. And, uh, Truck side, big kills coming in from the rocket team. They're going to be able to get in those Gibbs as well. Where's the engineer? They haven't got an engineer in place as uh, Coop didn't get that barrier plant down. Uh, they're going to take a lot of fire. Gizmo is going to be able to um, take um, a lot of damage onto those guys. Ross and uh, Ross and Cherry, both engineers, going to get taken down, but the truck has been built up. 12 and a half minutes remaining. And uh, Rocket. Uh, are, really are like a rocket in this one. They're, they're off to an amazing start. How quick is this? I think we could be in for one of the fastest times I've ever seen here on Bremen. And uh, this has been a very, very one-sided game so far. The plant has gone down at the barrier. Kills are going to come out for visual. They are picking up a bundle of frags. And they might be able to push forward for that defuse. As we're going to see Squiz bounce forward. There's five or six players by the truck. As uh, Rifle Grenade is going to ping across, Lampy is going to be able to take down Squiz there. There's a couple more players trying to run towards this uh, this truck. They need to get it moving. They don't want to get uh, bogged down in this area after such a good start. You see Cherry pick up that frag. He was just protecting the dynamite, but he's going to pick up that bonus frag as the dynamite is going to blow. As uh, the barrier is going to get um, put down. Uh, the truck is going to start moving as well. Lamp has been able to pick up one frag. And you see the artillery is going to slow them down in front of the truck as well. Visual's finally going to be able to get a slight foothold on their defense. But uh, for how long as uh, the next huge push comes in for allies. Uh, rifle grenade comes out from Coop's going to get one long range. And uh, they, they have been actually shut down. Three guys getting kills for the uh, visual team. Uh, the start was very, very poor from them. They might be able to get onto the truck. The artillery is not too great on the Axis spawn. They could have done it behind the truck. That would have been perfect. As uh, the next push for allies is coming towards the spawn. Uh, as you see, uh, Squiz taking down Insane there, getting double reviving. And then uh, they're going to just decide to bounce on towards the uh, the truck. I'm going to stick on Squiz because you can get, you can get some pretty crazy stuff going. And uh, they're going to come up against Hybertech, who doesn't actually spot him. And it looks like the allies are going to be able to get a hold of the uh, truck here. I'm going to watch Lamp here. He's going to have to get off. Some really good rifle shots to slow down that truck. He doesn't manage to get one on the front. Uh, uh, K43 does actually double frag with that K43. Nice work from Lamp. 
And there's a couple of guys in front of the truck. He's going to be able to pick up one more. Maybe the strike comes out. He's going to get team killed. Visual picking up so many frags, but the truck still moves on. And they're going to go and chase. It's going to be Ava chasing the truck with uh, two guys in front of it. Team kill comes in from Ross. That was uh, just a couple of bullets sprayed down. There's a... Uh, the barrier hasn't been built up by the Axis. They're not going to chase the uh, truck this time. We're going to aim to get that barrier built up. Artillery does come down. But I don't think they're going to be able to do much about the uh, truck moving now. As it's going to move past the barrier. Uh, the artillery might get a team kill here. Cherry has picked up Ross with that team kill. And uh, Raz uh, is also... No, Raz is still alive uh, on top of the ruins. And we're going to see Squiz get past the parcel of the truck up a lot of team damage as we've seen getting that revive and this is going to be a really good time for the rocket just about five and a half minutes five minutes 37 and that was uh, very much one-sided like i said this is going to be a uh, a group game the last group game of the night the winner of this game is going to be the winner of the group and we're going to see if visual can recover they they did very well against uh, trick jump they uh, set uh, an immense time as we look at the stats, 14 kills coming out for Outlaw, uh, 12 for Lamp, uh, 13 for Insane, but not not enough as uh, they actually don't get out-fragged, but out-gibbed. You get out-gibbed on, on defense, and uh, well, that was just immense from Rocket, really well played from them. But, uh, Rocket a bit too strong for them, I think. Probably have, I think Visual will probably go up there in the playoffs, they might finish in... Uh, they're fortunate, like fifth, sixth position, but um, I think the, the bigger teams are going to be really hard for them to to really uh, compete with because it's just a bit too much uh, on the side of it's, there's too much of a bigger game in six on six. You know, spam, comms, uh, leadership, communication. Whereas in three on three, it's to be very, it is much more of a basic side, a basic game. You can get those um, big impact players to break through in, in three on three, just shooting, not really having to talk too much. As, uh, yes. We uh, are waiting for the uh, rocket players to ready up, I think. Ooh, and milk. Uh, the tag 6 6 score was 4 to 0 for 6 6, but it was much closer than it sounds. And, uh, 6 6 did take the win in the group. Visual going to be attacking, they're going to have to beat a 5 minute time, which is going to be very, very difficult for them. Um, as uh, the push comes from Visual, they're going to be pushing into the ruins, the strike's going to come out, there's still a one big chance that strike's going to be aborted, as uh, he lands just on underneath the uh, rafters of the ruins. I'm going to put on to pressure towards this upper ruins area. I think maybe one player has been killed at that flag area, so you might see Gizmo being able to just jump down and bounce down for flag. The killouts do come in for Axis, so they will be able to retake their positions. Gizmo's going to be able to try and get that frag on that respawn. It's not going to happen for him. Quite a bit of damage. Let's switch up to uh, Lamp now. They have taken quite a bit of control of this uh, left side of the map. Coop and Ross territory. The plant may be coming towards Maine. And there's nothing the Axis can do about it at this stage. As, uh, the plant has gone down. Lugafrag's going to come out big. Big shooting from Squeeze double Lugafrag. As well as Cherry picking up a double Lugafrag as well. They're going to need to go for that defuse. And I think they have decided to spawn back. What's the point of risking? They have got loads. Of, they've got barely any time. Sorry, they've got barely any time on the clock. So there's no need to risk and try and go for a defuse. They're going to just uh, simply allow the plant to explode and take control of the next stage. If they have a, a one or two minute um, defense here, they're going to be solid. And this is this is showing you this is how the big teams can play. They sacrifice a stage and just get into position in a pushed up in a in a, in a, a better um, position. Sorry, in, a, in another stage. And, uh, you see, I've seen uh, um, Dignitas slash Idol in the past do exactly the same. That like happily give up like main on on supply. When they could probably go for the defuse just to make sure they get a decent um, def decent CP defense in. And already you can see that it's, uh, it's paying dividends for the uh, rocket team. Uh, visual not making any progress. They're just sitting around the house, the lower area. They're trying to get them 
down long range. Not being able to break it down. Long range shooting coming in from Milk. Double kill comes in from Milk. Cherry is taken down with that rifle grenade in the office area. Another rifle grenade pings in towards the CP. Raz is going to take a lot of damage. You can see, uh, Coop has dropped that that rifle for the SMG. Bye. As uh, he's got the MP40 in hand. As uh, he's uh, not too shabby with that SMG. His Coop. I say out of all the rifles, maybe bar Lamp G, but I would say Lamp G isn't like a, a proper rifle. Um, he's more of an SMG playing rifle, whereas in this uh, situation, it's Coop is a, a rifle playing now playing SMG. So we're gonna see loads of frags coming in for Rocket. They are going to push in this lower area. Um, lots of frags coming in. Hybrotech's gonna get shut down by uh, by Milk. There, the objective has been picked up, but I don't think it's gonna get too far. Um, we haven't seen uh, got any visuals on it yet. It is down just on the corner, just secured by the Axis. They are going to be able to get in that frag though. Double kill comes in for Coop on that SMG, and with uh, two minutes and twenty seconds remaining, this is uh, almost definitely going to be a map win for uh, Rocket. See, uh, Squeeze going very aggressive as uh, the next push for Visual comes in. Gonna lock down this key card. The last push, really, for Visual to get a chance. They would have to get the, they would have to get everything in one real big foul swoop. But it's not gonna happen for them. Just under two minutes remaining. Milk and Squeeze on that spawn are gonna be able to hold on. And uh, every every time I spec a Visual player, they're pretty much dead within the next five seconds. Poor revive from Raz there. I think he thought he had his needle out when he had his SMG out. So we'll, we'll let him off as uh, he's got someone to deal with here. I think he just wanted, he was, he was happy to let Coop get killed. He wanted to get those kills himself. He wanted to get some, uh, to boost his stats a little bit. Yeah, we understand, I get it, I get it. Oh, he could have gone for that stab. He really could have gone for that stab as Raz picks up a, a three kill. As the MG of Insane is, uh, he's gonna get shut down. Uh, not gonna actually get shut down, but the, the, fire, the gunfire of uh, Raz is gonna just make him move around a bit. Coop's gonna get taken down. Artillery from Coop is a uh, pretty uh, nice position. He could get lucky with the uh, group as he's going to pick up a double kill with that artillery. And the long range shooting from uh, Rocket are just going to shut down the, the last players on these visual pushes. They'll be pushing into that generator room. They haven't really been able to make it too far. They did get their hands on the documents or the, the key card one time. Other than that, it's pretty much been uh, just getting nailed from long range by uh, the crossfire. And this is uh, one of the biggest differences that you'll get with a team like Visual and, and Rocket is Rocket, although they have top, top individuals, they work together really well as a team. Whereas uh, Visual have good individuals, but they don't work so well together as a team. And so that's the difference between the best teams and, and uh, the ones that won't finish in the top position. Pretty much. And, uh, I'm going to see that artillery. Going to get a double frag, surely. And, uh, a couple of the allies are just dancing around it. It is going to be a hold. That was the longest five minutes ever. Uh, we're going to see um, the stats come out. And uh, it's going to be quite one-sided here. I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. That is going to be a map win, though. So you see 107 frags to 99. 19k damage, 19 damage to 18k. That wasn't actually as one-sided as it, it could have been. And that is going to be a first map win to Rocket. I am uh, uh, maybe going to take this opportunity to go to the toilet. Hopefully, we'll see. Maybe they're going to ready up really quickly. Looks uh, like they're going to ready up really quickly. Um, it's going to be visual on the attack first. And so I think I'm going to be picking up one Constellation Tournament game uh, because uh, there is a team that actually hasn't been casted uh, in 6 on 6 unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to pick up a game of theirs. Destroy the entrances. And that's going to be Cat in the Hat the against Trick Jump. And they'll be coming up next. 
So they, they, they did want a game. I didn't even get them in the three on three. Really, no, I think I only got one game of those in the three on three, and it started early. So I only got half the map. But we are going to see a visual start off quite quite quickly here. Quite a nice uh, start to the map. They are going to be able to take over the side area quite a bit. There is a, an Axis player ahead of them. It is going to be Milk. He's going to get dropped down. Hoop has pushed forward. Gets that rifle grenade kill. And uh, you're going to see insane pushing for the for the flag. Is going to get team killed by uh, Outlaw. But the respawn is going to come in of, uh, of allies here at main. And uh, you're going to see them pick up a suit and push out this main door. As uh, the landmine is indeed at the door. Uh, so Outlaw's going to be able to push through main. He is going to lose that suit though. Yeah, he wanted to die through too quickly. He got healed up a little bit. But the main plant has gone down. Really nice uh, start to the map by Visual. As uh, you see, maybe Rocket going to come for that defuse. Squeeze is going to push through the door. He's just going to get on a bit of damage. That main plant's going to blow for Visual, and they're going to have that uh, opened up for the, the west the west part of the, the map. The nice rifle comes out from Coop. Just a uh, Silence uh, Hybertech on that side area. Outlaw's going to try and get that Panzer off. He does take down one. The artillery is going to instantly take him down from Raz. Raz actually picks up a double kill. The, the artillery drops down and actually gives Hybertech as well. The rifle grenade comes out from Coop. Nearly gets, uh, nearly gets uh, the teammate of Gizmo who's dancing around. I'm not sure who that is. I think it might be Ava. It is indeed. It's another rifle grenade comes out. This time Ava's going to get taken down. You can dodge me once, not twice. It's four man. Push is going to come on towards side. Gizmo's got that needle out. He's waiting for those revives. Lampji is uh, instantly gibbed though. You see him Raz push out the top area. He was uh, being a bit risky as I think Coop's been gibbed there. And we might see a four man pushing towards CP. And they're going to run into uh, a big crossfire. A lot of uh, players for the uh, um, Rocket team pushed well up. As a bundle of frags are going to come out for uh, Rocket here. Uh, and a double artillery frag from Raz. Uh, so I think he might be able to pick up one more. Lamji dancing around um, the side as Visual are making some progress in the side area. No rifle grenade, of course, of Coop. He is actually going to be able to get that team kill in. And uh, there it is. Coop gets another team kill, cleans it out though. A double rifle grenade and a K43 in the mix. Outlaw is out for four, and we're going to watch uh, Visual on this side push once more. They do realize that the push is coming, and I think our oh, Raz, brilliant double. Um, double grenade and this artillery is so good from Raz so good unbelievably well timed uh, artillery from Raz that's going to keep them covered on that side push it's going to allow his teammates to just uh, rejoin him at CP and they, they actually think there's a, a main push you saw a couple of them start to rotate towards main push comes in to side though and uh, it's going to be a three man takeover of CP by visual has taken a bit of time but they have managed to do it you see uh, Ross picking up quite a lot of damage onto that medic. They're going to try and push in. There's no C there's no Kovi in position at that CP. And Visual have a little bit of control here. Uh, three or four players pushing in. Nade's going to come out. Milk uh, is going to risk it. As the grenade comes in, Coop gets that rifle grenade off. But I think they should be able to take control of CP. And they're going to be spawning forward. The axe is going very aggressive just to slow them down. Artillery is on this side area. Might get a three or four man artillery here. As you see, see Raz get one and uh, two. As, uh, Raz's artillery is today perfectly timed. I'm not sure if he's doing that 100% um, on purpose or not. I mean, obviously, he's doing the artillery on purpose. Whether he's timing it to perfection or it's just getting a bit of fortune there that those artilleries are covering his team very, very well, though. As the main push is on for visual. I'm going to expect some of the defense now. I haven't picked up too much of Rocket on this uh, first half of radar. As you see, visual pushing down the main road. Two guys. Making it quite far. Three, in fact, they all decide to kill out. And uh, they might all spawn at CP as uh, you see Ross quite aware of that, that potential. And uh, he's gonna they're going to have to fall back as uh, they're going to run the risk of getting overrun a little bit here. Now getting joined by some teammates. Uh, lots of damage coming in. He's getting shot from the main road. Where's that main defense? As uh, it looks like the visual guys are going to be able to pick up the objective here at East. And uh, yeah, struggling a little bit. It's going to be Hybrosec with the grab. And he's going to make his way towards the CP. He's going to get away without too much of a problem. So we're going to watch someone on the defense again. It's going to be Raz on the spawn area. He is joined by uh, by Ross. Got that support. And uh, Gizmo trying to catch him out. I think he was prone in that bush. 
Is he going to be able to take down one? Is he going to be able to take down Raz? I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, Raz is uh, lethal with that pistol. He does manage to take Gizmo down. And uh, the respawn of the Axis will come in in just a second. Artillery quite nicely placed at this west part. But the east parts are going to be taken home by Visual now. As we should say... Uh, um, rocket set up at these... Uh, these west parts, they are having quite a, a few players attack the back of the spawn area. I'm going to try and pick up someone in that, that spawn area for the rocket team. It is going to be Coop actually getting dropped down. Uh, visual making it all over the spawn, but uh, they are going to get dropped down on that respawn. I think Raz came in, managed to take down uh, Outlaw and Insane there. Yes, uh, I spied someone through the, uh, the grates. And he's going to decide to rotate round and back up his teammate Ross, who actually does get taken down. 14 seconds alone at spawn now. Nice headshots from Raz. He's just going to fall back and try and get some positioning here at, um, here at the back spawn. He's getting backed up by a couple of teammates as well. Nice play from Rocket. That's just reacting to some calls, no doubt. Uh, Raz and Ross are still going to be able to have control of this back spawn. Uh, nice headshots from uh, Outlaw. He's not going to be able to get that kill, though. He does pick up the revive on his uh, teammate and uh, they've got the knowledge that he's going to be going around the back of west as uh, you see him pushing behind he's going to get taken down nice double frag comes in from ross and we're going to see gizmo try and uh, try and camp it out he has uh managed to sneak past the respawn um, area of uh rocket whether they know he's potentially up here he's going to give away his position he's going to put a lot of damage on towards milk the cool will come in from Milk though, and they'll know that he's up there. Uh, Ros and Raz, uh, Ros and Raz, uh, Ross and Raz. Uh, now playing in that second fake area, just uh, being very annoying. It's actually Squiz uh, come to support his uh, back spawn teammates. Uh, but he's going to kill out, and I think Visual have quite a bit of control at this back spawn. Ross and Raz do spawn back in, and uh, they are going to make the other manage to pick up those two kills. But Raz is taken out for full spawn. And Ross, uh, Ross, uh, these two guys' names, seriously. Uh, Ross uh, needs to uh, be careful as he is taken down for 10 seconds. And so is Milk. And the big push from Visual around the back of the objective is going to come as uh, they are going to walk over a bundle of mines, though. Uh, Ava is going to get taken down as well. Cherry saves the day for the uh, Axis team. Uh, so they're going to all spawn back here just to just to be careful. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. As a couple of the visual players are at that, that fake area. They're going to try and put some pressure on across the bridge. But at the moment, it's not happening for them. Um, they, are, they are getting close to the objective. But every time that new spawn of rocket comes in, it just really, it really just deals with them. Uh, Ross and uh, Raz... Every time they spawn at that back spawn, they are taking one or two with them, no matter what. And it's really hard to mount a really serious attack for West when you only have two or three guys alive. You need to have that five or six man push to really uh, over overwhelm that defense. As you see, three or four guys sitting at West, they are going to get those long range shots in. Raz is just going to sit at um, East parts. And it's just going to try and get uh, some more damage on towards those guys at fake. Hybra Tech does pick up a double kill, but that's just going to be right on the spawn time of, of Rocket. And going to have visual in the position where they, if they get full health here that's going to be it that's going to be gg they definitely won't be able to win but they are picking up some frags they are going to make some progress in the trenches big double kill comes out from cherry and he's done it again he's stopped the, the potential push he's going to be outlaw maybe pushing around the back of west um, he's got a couple of guys to deal with three in fact he is going to get killed on that minor a triple kill comes in from insane the objective should get picked up here as we see the last guy alive is cherry Hybrotech picks up that double kill and is, is it going to be that the, the old mine doesn't actually get him. He's going to get dropped down though. The objective still on top near West Park. Uh, near the West Radar. Uh, so a couple of guys are pushing towards fake for visual. And we're going to watch one of those guys if we can. They've both been taken out. Gizmo is indeed taken down. And uh, allies are going to spawn CP. And they're going to... This is pretty much their last real attempt. They've got to set it up this spawn and... And hold on to the back spawn. They've got a. It takes two or three spawns to really get things going um, as an ally team. So they need to have a lot of control here at the back spawn. They are going to put on a lot of damage towards that Axis player. I think it's going to be uh, Ross or Raz without a doubt. And 
you see, uh, uh, Gizmo taking a lot, of, a lot of fire. He doesn't have any idea where the enemy were. Lots of frags coming in from the rocket players from that hill. Four frags coming in, five, and they're going to be able to clear out the entire visual team. And it's been a really good attempt by visual, but rocket a bit too strong for them, I think. As uh, with one minute, one and a half minutes remaining, and it's going to be all or nothing. We're going to see those fake pushes very soon, as uh, we do already see the fake push. Uh, the last ditch attempt across the bridge, maybe a boost, maybe a trench push. I don't think we're going to see any pushes around the back of uh, around the back of the map. As I think someone actually did walk over a mine there. They did hit, hear that just in time. The objective is going to get picked up by Outlaw, but he's going to get dropped. Uh, one minute remaining on the clock. Uh, that is what it's going to be like for about the last minute. It's going to be that that grab that potentially could get away. I mean, that was very close. If the if the objective would have fallen onto the onto the road, then they would have been away with that. They would have been doing the revive train. Could have been quite a lot of pressure on Axis to get that that back. And here comes the main push for Allies. Uh, they're going to be able to push down the main road. The respawn of Axis is going to come in. As a couple of guys are making it down the main road, you're going to see Coop pick up that frag. And uh, the visual guys are trying to pick up some damage, but they haven't really got enough time to, to sit around and, and shoot long range. They have to keep moving. And the full hold here, like I said, is going to be the end of them. In the group stage, they will be guaranteed top two, but it'll be that, that two, that second place, rather than that first place. Uh, it's definitely going to be it now. As, uh, the last spawn of visual comes out on this attack. It was a good attempt, to be fair. Over CP, they didn't really utilize that CP spawn very well for six or so minutes, unfortunately. I'm going to pick up the stats. As uh, full hold is going to come in. As a uh, Raz, look at that, on spawn 32 kills, 5.2k damage. Dominant display. Um, we're also going to see the reply 19 kills for Hybrotech, not too bad, 2.5k damage. So it's uh, 22 to 50, 15k, which is reasonably even considering visual are on attack, so they will have less damage. And then when you look at um, the, the frags, unfortunately, 115, um, uh, 115 kills to 66, so nearly nearly double frags, double damage. Uh, no, no, nearly double frags, sorry. Not double damage, however. Yeah, I've been asked to uh, to stream um, Cat in the Hat against Trick Jump. If that game starts soon, I can I can try and get it done. But otherwise, it's uh, otherwise it's going to be too much. I'm 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 feeling it. I'm feeling it. We're in we're in hour twelve. Hour twelve, and they still think I'm a sheep. Prepare to fight. So uh, visual. I set up a. I'll set up at the, the flag spawn now on this first spawn. I'll probably have someone spawn back to build that CP. Destroy the entrances. But um, Capture we're, the see, we're actually bunker. going on main now. We're going to see Gizmo. He's ready for that main push. As I think Rocket actually going towards side. Ava and Outlaw are going to get overrun here. As Outlaw actually picks up a double frag. And we see Nampi spawn back for that, that CP build. And Visual managed to hold off the first Rocket attack. But... The next spawn's going to come in with no support fire. Um, in the way, double grenade, rifle grenade comes out from Coop, and that's going to shut down that Axis push out of the out of the side door. Uh, Raz and Squiz both dealt with by uh, by Gizmo, and you see the double frag coming in for Insane as well. So, um, very jewelly style of play from Visual, pretty much what you have to expect. They'll be uh, trying to set up those uh, those camps in the doorways and, and so on. But, uh, and they'll win those jewels, they'll win those jewels, but when it comes to the, the back the back spawn, it's gonna be very difficult for them to set up those crossfires and we'll see how they deal with uh, the the rocket attacks as the main pump has actually already been blown open, so the flag is gonna be in the uh, allies' hands. And we shouldn't see why it seems the, the pans are just yet. So they're gonna have the so they're gonna have the flag, it's all good. He's going to push towards the side. I was wondering. Dynamite it looked like he genuinely wanted to fire that Panzer. Uh, the pl plant has gone down on side. Uh, 
landmine spotted. I'm definitely not pa- casting two of the games. Oh, you're cool. I'll cast Cat in the Hat against um, Trick Jump if they start very soon. Like five minutes, ten minutes. I need to go to the toilet and then I'm ready. But I won't be casting either of the idle games. So you can have the idle games if you if you so want them. Oh, you're cool, mate. It will be absolute pleasure for you to cast those guys, no doubt. They are the legends of the game. As the Panzer comes in from side, artillery has gone down from Axis. And it is, uh, again, very well timed, as you've seen. Artie's on this side area from CP. They're doing a really good job. Outlaw is going to get taken down, but the revives are going to come in from Ava. And that's a double revive. Um, so now, um, the CP is fully set up by Visual. And the main push is going to come on from... The rocket guys, they've got no one really shooting them. They're very, very uh, defensive here at the uh, at the west parts. Nice long range shooting from Ross. He's going to be able to take down one. And the, the Coop Garand kill comes in as well. And they may be able to pick up that those west parts as the artillery frag takes down the land on that, uh, that main area. As you see, a lot of damage coming in for from uh, um, Outlaw onto that medic. The, uh, the objective has been reclaimed, but it's not going to be enough as the objective is going to go home. And uh, the west parts have been secured within the first three minutes. This is uh, Rocket just uh, giving giving a couple of people to, for tomorrow's uh, playoff bracket a little, uh, little preview of what they want to bring in that in that bracket. Of course, they're going to be one of the strongest teams there. A lot of people will probably say they're the team to beat. We have seen them get beaten. We have seen six six actually take them down. Um, but we have also seen Rocket come back from the lower bracket and win twice. So. They show how strong they can be. And as uh, they have full control of that CP, these are very interesting guys. How are they under the ground like that? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's funny. As, uh, Squiz is going to get taken down by that long range K43 from uh, Lamp. So the CP is going to get constructed. It is uh, a forward spawn um, for the uh, rocket guys. Got quite a bit of control. As we should see, uh, visual uh, some pressure to the, uh, the allied team. They're just gonna stack up quite heavy east defense. Strike does come over. I'm going to maybe catch one or two players out. Insane takes quite a lot of damage. There are a couple of people around this, this tank bait area. Uh, Ross is going to get taken down. Maybe it's only one. Raz pushing through main. Of course, it is only east that they have to get. No real west defense to talk of. As the objective has been secured by Outlaw. Um, a couple of kills coming in. There. The, the boost is going to be very, very good here. Uh, the respawn of Axis coming in. But uh, we're going to see Coop boost up. He's going to be able to grab the objective as well. Uh, Coop gets his hands on it. He's going to be able to run towards the CP. Lots of frags coming in for visual, but they're not going to be able to take down Coop as he's going to speed away towards that CP area. And maybe there's an artillery here at main. Maybe there's an artillery here at main. It, does, it did seem like it was just the end of an artillery here. And Rocket picking up all the frags at main area. Big pistol headshot from uh, Ross. It's not going to get that kill, but... It should be enough for visual. Uh, it should be enough for rocket to uh, secure the the objective, as you see. The east radar parts indeed are going to come through. And uh, looking at the stats, dominating display from Raz. Really, really good display from him. 39 kills, 7k damage. Easily, easily the the big player of this game. Ross was playing on spawn with him as well. We did see these guys play on mine on radar, and they look very, very strong. So nice play from both of these guys.